Hello, this is Bob Floyd from the Twin Cities Bicycling Club here with the editing part two video. I'll be covering add, remove control points as well as uh, when to use the draw lines function. So the first thing I'm going to do is control points. I'm going to open this ride here into edit mode. I'm going to right click and open in a new tab and so here's a route that I'm considering using in the near future. It's uh, private at the moment, but whatever. Uh, I don't need to see the cues right now, so I'll get rid of that. And I don't need to see the elevation. I'll click on the uh, fit window or fit into window icon here. And so now I have the, the route showing a little bit better. Uh, these dots are control points. These are places where I originally clicked to create the route. You can see a bunch of them down here. Anyway, uh, you can grab the control points and and move them. Let's see here. I'll move this one. And you see it, it moved up there. I'll hit undo. Uh, if I had tried to move it in between the control points you can see I have a little spur here that it's incorrect I guess I have one up there that I screwed up but anyway uh, and so uh, let's say I I'm, feel like I'm stuck with that I c one alternative is to move that control point there and correct it I'll hit undo here, or the other option is to remove it. And so if I click on a control point, it's gone. Now let's say I wanted to add a new control point here. I can click here, and now I have a new one. And maybe I really wanted that route to go up here. And uh, there. I've got this little spur I think I'll fix here. But uh, so now I have a, a, ver a, a new version of the route. Uh, this isn't quite what I had planned, but uh, I'll hit undo a few times. And we're back where we were. And uh, really what I wanted was to go down here. I see I got a little glitch. There we go. And. Uh, Anyway, uh, so I could then save it as a new route, and I'd have a new version of the route that's 33.7 miles. Uh, anyway, that's a this is a good way to create new versions of the route for when you have multiple uh, options for mileages on a route. So I'm going to move away from that right now. I'm going to clear this tab and. Now I'm going to show what happens when uh, there's a glitch on the map. So I'll, you'll see what that is in a second here. I'll right click and open it. And uh, I'm going to, I really wanted this route to go up good view this way. I'll show you what the problem is. So here I am. I'm heading down this way and I would like to click here up good view and it goes around the wrong way it turns out there's it doesn't seem like ride with GPS understands there's a connection between this 120 or 117th Street and good view so the work around here I'll undo is do draw lines but first I'm going to zoom in so I can really get this accurate I'll, I'll get down here and then I'll switch to draw lines and I'll just put a little point up here and then I can switch back to follow roads and uh, everything's fine now. So once in a great while you'll find a glitch like that where two roads don't seem to be to have a connection that Ride with GPS is aware of. So the 
the other thing is uh, say you've got a new area that's say there's new construction and uh, there's the route or the map is just not updated yet so I'll show you what that looks like so this is over near my house I've had to do this little fix many times I'll switch to satellite mode and I'm gonna turn off labels here just to make life easier you can see this this red line which follows what ride with GPS thinks exists is incorrect there really is no road there but there is a road over here and I'd like to get over to this road here and cut across this saves me quite a bit of climbing which uh, is a good thing in my in my mind anyway I'll switch back to map mode I'm gonna drag this incorrect area back to the last correct place and then I'll switch to satellite mode and I'll switch to draw lines and so now I'll just click in here and uh, this is just a handy thing for people that have GPS's and want to get the route really correct so I'm gonna switch back to map mode you see I'm on Boutwell Avenue I'll switch to follow roads mode and away I go so that's everything for now. Bye.